Um, so I got into an accident that week during hockey practice. I know there's there, there's there's a risk of playing hockey. There's a lot of injuries. I took a stick to my eye. So I got uh, I took a stick to my eye and I got sent to the hospital uh, to the emergency. They did a surgery where they cut up the, the side of the eye just to release pressure. The eye was starting to swell up. I've been at the hospital for a week. They've been running tests. They've been they've been checking the pressure on the eye and just to try to figure out where the damages uh, are. And they still don't know. And at the moment, I have lost 99% of my vision on the eye. I've been playing hockey my whole life and you're always aware of the dangers in it, like the, the risk of injuries. Um, and for some reason, when you turn 18, uh, I've been, these are things I've been thinking about uh, during, during my time at the hospital. But when you turn 18, for some reason, you're, uh, you get immortal can't get injured anymore yeah you drop your uh, full mask you like your full face protection uh, the cage you drop it and you just put a visor on uh, that covers uh, that covers only from injuries that come straight forward so underneath your your mouth and your nose pretty much is all like exposed and that's pretty much what happened there was a stick lift he missed shit happens that's there's things that's gonna happen you know it and when you're laying there you're pretty much just why why are why are why am I, why am i so stupid i will be home now uh, maybe you notice i'm not in my apartment in since all anymore uh, i will be home for for a couple of weeks to begin with uh, just to rest and take it easy people have been so so nice to me, uh, especially my like friends and family uh, close to me. Are they called me up, ask how I'm doing? I will try to do things now when I'm just at home uh, and not doing anything else. Try to figure something out during these weeks. Uh, hopefully, I can get back to hockey. The doctor said the, the hockey season is over. Uh, I don't know about that, and I'm not allowed to drive. Luckily, the Jeep is in winter storage right now. So for six months, uh, I won't, I won't drive anything. I'll be sitting in the passenger seat. I can't cal calculate the, the distance between things. It's a tough time. Cause that's the thing that you lose when you lose one eye. You lose the, the ability to feel, feel distance between things. I don't know what more to say. It just, it is what it is, and I just have to go through it. I guess. Just have it. As the doctor said, I just have to wait and see how much of uh, my vision that will come back if it comes back. They want to keep it safe. They just, instead of saying that I will get this amount of eyesight back, they just say, wait, we need to wait. And there's still a lot of swollen and bleedings in the eye itself. Even though everything around is starting to loose up, I can now open my eye. Uh, and I, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's following everything else, so it's not just staying there. I got nothing more.